Good day, everybody. It's Memorial Day, and I'll tell you what, it's a beautiful one. It's, uh, I'm here at the homestead. Uh, great way to start a day. Just sitting out here, listening to the birds chirp, watching the dogs run around, listening to the rooster crow. You can't beat it. You can't beat it at all. However, let's, let's talk about what Memorial Day really is. Memorial Day is a day where we uh, show respect and compassion to those who passed before us. People who were here before us, who paid the way for us, those who died for us, trying to help us keep our freedoms. And the sad part is, is right now our freedoms are under attack, even on Memorial Day. They're under attack by a group of people who want to see us be more like China, North Korea, Venezuela. They believe in equity instead of equality. They believe in dividing people up by their race or their religion. And they believe that the American way is no good. I have to say I'm proof the American way works. I worked hard. I've achieved a lot of my goals by working hard. Um, there's one goal I haven't achieved and it's that will never happen unless I win the lottery. That one goal was to be independently wealthy. And uh, that's not going to happen because I'm not in the right career field for that. And I don't have the talent for that. You know, like acting or singing. <laughs> you don't want me to sing, I promise you that. But the point is, is if you've got the intelligence, if you've got the abilities, the talent, if you take advantage of it and work hard, you can become independently wealthy in a nation like this, in our nation. If you don't, you still can succeed. That's the key. And that's where the whole thing lies. And I'm succeeding. The world's knocked me down a few times. I got back up. I dusted myself off. And I moved on. And I pressed on. And I worked hard. And I tried. I found an area that I could do. And I worked at it. And I got to it. Now... The problem that we have is, for some reason, people think that you should be paid a great deal of money to flip burgers when there's other jobs out there that are much more dangerous or much need much more skill to do, and they're the ones that should be paid more, but they don't believe that. They believe that everybody should get, you know, like say, and this is just a figure I'm pulling out of the air, $15 an hour to do whatever it is they do. And it's what they refer to as equity. I don't think that's a good idea. I think a person should be paid for what the job is worth. Yes, I said, for what the job is worth. Some jobs are much more simple than others. Now, for example, let's take power lines into consideration. I don't know the first thing about power lines. All right, and I'll be honest with you, I hate being a manless. I love heights. I don't mind heights. I just don't like the fact that those manless like to shake. You know, every time you move, they're, they're shaking. I can't stand that. It scares the hell out of me. I'll get on a ladder, though. Not a problem, because I can tie the ladder off. But the point is, is the lineman, the guy who puts up the power lines, they get paid a whole lot more than I do, because their job's Consider, considerably more dangerous. Um, they don't have a place they can go if they should fall except down. Uh, if, they're, if they accidentally touch a live wire while they're trying to hang another one, they could become fried. So they should get paid more. The person flipping burgers, what are you going to do, get a grease burn? Okay, so you put a little aloe on it, wrap it, wrap it up, 
best you can. Finish your day. Take the bandage off. If it's really bad, you go to the doctor and they can do whatever they need to do to make it better. The chances of dying, flipping a burger, it's a whole lot less than, say, what I do or what, or what a lineman does. And as far as skill goes, uh, doctors and lawyers have a lot of skill. They do a lot of studying. They've, you know, they got to do things to do their jobs. They got to learn a lot to do their jobs. So they should get paid for their knowledge. They should get paid more. I can't imagine one doctor or a lawyer working for fifteen dollars an hour. It just doesn't. It just doesn't work. It doesn't make sense. So the thing is, is equity. It, it doesn't work. It doesn't make sense. Let's talk about the racism part. I firmly believe a person should be judged by their character, not by the color of their skin, not by the religion they choose to follow or the religion they were brought up in. A person's character tells more about the person than the color of the skin. A person's character makes you decide whether you want to be friends with that person or not. It's, it's just unbelievable the way these people are thinking. So, the thing is, to sum this up, because I don't want to get this to be a long, drawn-out thing. We had men and women die to protect our way of life, to protect our Constitution. To protect our abilities to rise above and become cream of the crop. And it's all about how hard you want to work. It's all about how much education you want to get. It's all about your talents. If you don't want to work hard, you don't want to get a decent education, you don't have any talent, then you're going to sit at the bottom. If you have talent, recognizable talent, and you're better at it than everybody, then you're going to move to the top. If you get an education and you work hard with that education, you're going to move to the top. If you don't, you're going to stay at the bottom. It's not about equity. It's not about everybody being paid the same amount to do whatever job it is. It's about, and listen to me carefully, it's about to get up and go, to get up and get it done, to get up and move along and working hard. It's about wanting to succeed. If you don't want to succeed, you're not gonna get paid. If you want to succeed, then you're going to show it and you'll get paid. And when you get paid, you'll be able to have whatever it is you want. Let's not smear and smudge the names and the character of the people that died to help, help to uphold our way of life. Instead, let's honor them by getting off our asses and getting jobs following our talents, following our education, following our dreams, chasing our dreams, and succeeding. It's a lot of hard work, but it's worth it in the end. Y'all have a good day.